Yup, it looks like there's gold in them hills of jewelry. Hi everybody, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I am bringing you an unboxing of a mystery box of jewelry. Today's box comes from ThreadUp. It is their five pound DIY rescue box. I am very excited to see what is inside today's box. So why don't we just get started? We are all set up to unbox this. I am pointing out here first that this box is from Phoenix, Arizona. So let's go ahead and open it up. And if you don't already know, I am a full-time seller on eBay. I do love selling jewelry. So of course, I'm always hoping that I can find some goodies in these boxes. <laughs> Is list in my eBay store. Oh, well, looks like they tried to pack it in in uh, a plastic bag. Let me pull the tissue away. But as you can see, what the heck happened here? It looks like uh, maybe what piece of jewelry kind of slit this open. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do today, just as a first peek. And then I'm going to go ahead and dump everything out right here into this box and we'll start pulling the jewelry out. Starting today's box off is this necklace. This happens to be from J. Crew. I'm seeing the tag right there. And we have some clear pendants here. They're faceted, very pretty crystals. And then antique gold tone little pendants uh, between each one. Now they do look a little bit worn. Here's where you can see the wear. So you have some pitting or scratching. Now um, it's possible that that is intentional, but I, mm, I'm i thinking not. The necklace has a nice chunky oval chain, also antique to gold tone. It's got an extender, a spring clasp. There is that J. Crew jewelry tag. And actually now that we're looking at it much closer, you can see where the copper is coming through on that chain. So yeah, for sure, this is definitely uh, got some wear on it. As much as I love the pendants on this necklace, I am going to be putting this in a crafter's jewelry lot. And let me mention right now, if you do see anything in this video that you might be interested in purchasing, you can send an email to me at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. My email address is right here on the screen. I will also add it down below in the description box under the video. Here is a memory wire bracelet. It's made of antiqued silver tone square beads all stacked together. I actually like this one a lot. Here's the end of it and I'll try this one on. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Here's an interesting bracelet. This, These are all crystals and it, this has sort of like a very slinky feel to it. And this is black genuine leather and let's take a look to see if I can find any missing crystals on this. As hard as it is to see I am spotting a few places that are missing the crystals. I see one right there and it's probably hard to see that through the camera. I'm not sure. Maybe you can see it. And I see another missing one right there. Um, that's too bad. Another missing one there, another missing one there. So, well, this is probably going to go in the craft lot, and I have a special rhinestone craft lot that I'm going to be putting this in. Um, this is kind of cool, though. It's, it's a shame. And oh, while I'm at it, it looks like this is, yeah, this is separating, so I would not be able to sell this anyway. How many of you guys recognize the designer of this earring? This is a Kendra Scott piece, and I recognize it right away by the shape of the earring. I've seen her do these in pendants as well. And this particular one is a gold tone textured frame. That is a genuine stone, natural stone. I am not sure what kind of stone, it might be an agate. And I am so hoping that I can find the match to this in this box. Here's a group of necklaces all in the same color family, browns and burgundies. This first piece is a pendant necklace. It's hanging on a leather cord, double cord, and that cord is like a metallic gold tone. 
The center on this is pretty. It's burgundy. It's got some color variation in there. And I believe that's plastic and enameled. Here's a look at the cord. There is not a name on this one. It is finished with a lobster clasp. This next necklace has a lobster clasp. There's no name on this one either. This is made with wooden beads that are painted gold and they are hooked together or linked together in a rosary style. This is a very long necklace. It's quite unique with those metallic wooden beads and it might be fun to try to layer this. Here's another very long necklace. These are all plastic and wooden beads. Also in those earth tones, those browns, ivory, burgundy. I like the different shapes. I like the combination used in the design. The beads are knotted on this brown cotton cord. There's the end of the necklace. It's finished with a lobster clasp and there is no maker's mark on this one either. This next piece is a hinged bracelet or clamper bracelet made with these panels in red and ivory. The metal is gold tone and I'm liking this design. There's the hinge. Here's another clamper. This too is gold tone and it has the ivory in red with the addition of this teal color. And it's got a geometric pattern around it. I can't help but wonder if these are supposed to go together. I think they kind of look good together, don't you? I forgot to check the other one for a maker's mark. Let me check this one first. I do not see a maker's mark on it. Let me check this one. I do not see a maker's mark on this one either. I do like these two as a set. I don't know if, if they're meant to be a set, but to me, it looks like they belong together. A few more craft pieces here, two necklaces and two bracelets. At first sight, this is cute, but it is very worn out. Sometimes things look better on video, but in person, trust me, this is very dirty. The beads are turning. In any case, we have some turning uh, metal pieces here and some very inexpensive black plastic beads. This is a gorgeous pearl necklace. The pearls are knotted. The luster is beautiful. I like the shape of the pearls. There's a little plastic attachment onto the necklace right there that makes me think that this could be a brand new piece. Look how beautiful these pearls are. And as I, meant, as I mentioned, they are knotted. So this is super long. It fits right over the head, so there is no closure on this one. This piece is going straight into my cell pile. It's very beautiful, and I know that I can sell it. Here are four fun pair of Lucite earrings. I'm not sure which one's my favorite. I'm drawn to these three especially. We have a brown marbleize, kind of got some ivory going in there, mod uh, dangle hoops, and then this tortoiseshell style in a mauve pink. These are just a mother of pearl looking simple hoop. And then the loose sight part on these are the disc. And this part, it feels like maybe halite, a little drop down. And I just think they're cool. Each one very unique. I like them. Here's another hinged bracelet, another clamper. This one is made with these enameled pieces here, geometric shapes, triangles with little dots, and then these little uh, rectangles in ivory. Red, I think, or is that red or dark pink? It's hard to tell. And uh, these blue teal. Now this is also gold tone. Where's that other set I just had? Let me see about this. So, might be well I definitely think you could wear these two together although I'm thinking this is dark pink and this is red I'm not sure what do you guys think these are all quite attractive I'm wondering if they belong to the same person guess what I found more of those hinged clamper bracelets let's take a look one by one I noticed that they're all gold tone. So this is gold tone with like a brownish gold marbleizing enamel there. These little teal flowers, very pretty. This next bracelet has that same brownish gold in it with this peach. Again, also gold tone. And of course there are these very pretty clear crystals all around. 
Here is that last one. This one has a purple and a teal blue design, kind of a crisscross braided look, also gold tone. And I am just seeing that this has a mark in it. That T looks like the Talbot's mark. So this may be from Talbot's. Well, why don't I show you all the bracelets all in one shot? They're quite pretty. Next is this very long necklace. It has a gold tone textured oval chain. And these stones right here are actually plastic. Very pretty color green bead. It has like a variation, a little marbleization running through it. And I also like that they are not perfect in shape. They have a little bit of concave uh, dimension to them. So really nice necklace. And I'm noticing that this one, um, it has a lobster clasp and no maker's mark. Here is another pretty little necklace, also in gold tone. This one has graduated size feather pendants. They're textured and these little triangular black stones just above each feather. The necklace is in very good shape. The gold metal finish is all intact. It's not worn off at all. Here is a look at the chain. It's an oval shaped chain. And like I said, it does not have a maker's mark. Um, it's finished with a lobster clasp and an extender. The length of the necklace is more of a choker or collar length. It's really cute. Here's a very pretty statement necklace in blues and clear crystals, gold tone metal. The neck part is a navy blue gross grain ribbon, which I typically am not drawn to for myself, but this one I think I definitely would wear. Has a little bit of wrinkling, but you take a slightly warm iron and press it out, comes right out. Um, and then these pendants, so pretty. Uh, we have these faceted teardrop crystals here and here, and then another teardrop um, stone there. It's like a faux lapis type of thing. And these really cool, clear, and they are plastic uh, dangly pendants, almost like a pyramid-y cone shape, maybe, not pyramid. Here is a closer look at the ribbon. And this one's finished with a lobster clasp and an extender. Hiding beneath that clasp is this jewelry tag that is BR, which is Banana Republic. I really do love this piece. This is definitely going in my sale pile. Here are a few more pieces going in craft. These are not sellable, but they are perfect for craft. For example, some really cool beads on this uh, wire or fishing wire, whatever you call that. It's really hard to untangle from things, but neat beads on here, some pendant necklaces, um, really cool beads on this one in glass wood, some carved stuff, but you know, not sellable stuff, worn out earrings and some, a bracelet here that has one of the ends ripped off of it. You get the idea. This is all perfect for craft. Here's a super long necklace. It's all made of chain. Uh, I'm going to start from the top and just kind of pull it through. Now the back, first of all, let me back up. It does not have a maker's mark. And we can see that the back has a lobster and extender. This part of the necklace is, has a little bit of wear. Let me take you in a little closer here since I'm pulling the necklace through. Here's a look at the chain. And as you get down the necklace, the gold wear is very minimal to no wear at all. Here's the part that's kind of cool. It's got this chain wrapped around. So it's kind of thicker there, finished with a knot, and then all sorts of the chain that are wrapped around this part, this part, <laughs> um, are dangling down as long tassels. I definitely think this is wearable and really unique. As far as trying to list it in my eBay store, it would be pretty tough to photograph it, I think. And since it's not a name brand piece, I probably will not do that. So if any of my viewers are interested in this particular piece, um, I'm open to selling it and I will give you a good deal. All four of these bracelets are Alex and Ani. You can see that these two are antiqued silver tone, we have an antiqued gold tone, and then one with a clear seed bead. Here's a look at the pendant on the gold tone one. It looks like um, infinity maybe, infinity sign and scrolling on that one. The wear on it is uh, pretty serious, so it's probably not gonna go in my cell pile. 
Here's a look at the silver tone ones. Here is a little love charm, which is very pretty. I like the charm. And um, also a really cool compass charm. Now, uh, again, with the finish on the actual bracelet, it's pretty rough. So I don't think I am going to list these either. Here is that last one. This is a silver tone Alex and Ani with the clear beads. I'm noticing there's no focal charm on this one, but it may not have one. It might not come with one. So this wasn't this is in very good shape as far as the metal finish on it. Let's take a look at some earrings. These are all similar. They have that cascading chandelier -y kind of style to them, but then again, they are all quite different. Starting here. These are bronzy colored wavy textured discs and they are very pretty. None of the discs are missing either so those are pretty cute. This next pair is silver tone, very polished. That's also a wavy charm. These are more of a teardrop shape. The next pair down I thought you could see better if I hold them closer. I love the way these hang. There is this black crystal right there at the top and then this cascade of crystals coming down. They're all tear shaped. They are faceted and depending how the light catches, they're brownish, greenish, so pretty, very sparkly. Here are the last two pair of earrings and not quite the statement that the others have. Still very pretty dangles. These are little abalone discs. You can see that the shell has that iridescent blue. Very, very pretty. And then these have an antique silver tone disc. They are textured and again, dangle style. While we're on the earrings, I pulled these out as well. As I sift through the lot, I'm coming across all sorts of earrings. Oh, and let me interrupt this real quick and let you know, so far I have not found the match to this. I keep looking, looking. I think I'm out of luck. However, I may try to sell it as a single earring. Um, that could also be a pendant, but I might try to sell it as a single. We'll see. Okay, back to the small earring show. <laughs> Here's the good thing. I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to use the magnet now to find out, that all of these are sterling silver. As I said, they're more like smalls. Um, really nice looking earrings. So I suspect they're all sterling silver. Um, I will definitely put on the screen right here and I'll confirm that after I test them after the video. Let's start with these guys. Here's an up close and personal view. I'm showing the sides so that you can see the setting as well as the top. These really beautiful square pink crystals and you might see right there on the ear wire it is it is stamped with 925 so there you go here's the next pair of earrings also a faceted red crystal and it is just beautiful it's prong set showing you here what the side looks like really well made i want to show you too that's how the dangle works on that one may as well show you the back of it also and those are super pretty i like these a lot here's a look at the next pair of earrings these are coin pearls and these are hanging from that textured link here the little charm off of that wire this is a classic pair of earrings these can pretty much be worn with anything and the final pair i'm showing you are these swarovski drop earrings so beautiful we have a pink little bicone and then a teardrop faceted a b crystal you can see how the light catches all the colors in that green pink and green are pretty together so again very delicate feminine pair of earrings and all of them are so pretty he has a coordinated set of bracelets motif being black and pearl also there is a like a smoky quartz color beat on that one. I think these are very tastefully designed. These two right now I'm noticing there's a little bit too much elastic so you'd have to restring that and this one might be the same case with this last one. I thought I would try these on. I like them. Something about them. Just very classic. This is an artisan necklace. It's a choker necklace 
It's got a very simple pendant bead on there. It's glass, I'll show you up close, and this very cool closure. Here's that glass bead, it's very pretty. It's flat on each side, there's the bottom, and I just like the way the light catches those blues in this one. There is the leather cord, it is dark brown and it's in really good shape. Here's a look at that. And I even love the closure. Look at the shape of the closure and the texture. This is magnetic. Isn't that cool? I just like this one. This is very neat. Look at this pretty necklace. I'm liking this one. All right. You can see the pendants here that are in green and peach and pink and some gold tone embellishments or beads, I should say. These cords here are cotton cords in a very bright peach color. You might recognize the back of the jewelry tag right there, which is J. Crew, and of course we have the extender. Aren't these pendants so pretty? And I really do like these cylinder beads separating the pendants down at the bottom. Uh, taking a closer look at these cords, I am noticing that there is some dirt. They need to be cleaned up. And you know, I've really never tried to clean cords like this on a necklace, but if I liked it well enough, I'd try, and I might try on this one. Here is the extender, and there is a look at the J. Crew tag. Well, I do like this one. I'm just noticing this would go very well with the sweater I'm wearing. I had to pull out my gray cardstock to show this one. This necklace, first of all, let me point out, it is from Lucky Brand. There is the charm for Lucky Brand. This is such an adorable necklace. I've never seen this one before. We have a cream colored leather cord and then this little slider bead right here in silver. But please, let's take a look at this pendant, shall we? I just can't get over how cute this is. Here's a fish. He is on a fish hook and so many things about this fish. He's articulated. We have a gemstone there, and if you can see his tail has these inlays. There's abalone, mother of pearl, and probably another abalone there. He is just so cute, and he's two-sided, meaning you will find another gemstone there. Oh, and by the way, these little scales, every other layer is also a mother of pearl. You'll notice on the other side, there is one little panel here where there used to be the uh, abalone. The other two are in place. So I'm definitely going to sell this. I will disclose that that one little panel there is missing. But I mean, how cute is this? I just love it. While I've got this gray background out, I think I want to show this necklace. And by the way, how fabulous is this box? I am super happy and I still have plenty more to show you. Um, okay, this necklace. We have turquoise chips, a gorgeous pendant, rhomboid-ish shape, if I know my, if I remember my geometry. And I'm seeing 925 on this tag. The turquoise in this pendant is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors, look at the markings. And checking out the other side, there's something stamped right there. This is so cute. These, are, these pieces are so cute. Um, this is a bangle bracelet. It's hinged or a clamper. It's polished gold tone with these ivory polka dots. They're enameled. And I just think it's adorable. Um, this one does have a mark inside. This is a J. Crew piece, and this looks like it would be a J. Crew piece, doesn't it? How sweet is this bracelet? The next thing I'm pulling out looks like a couple pair of earrings. They were bagged like this, so let's see what's in store. Let's see what we have inside. Take a closer look. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you do, let me know by hitting the thumbs up, hit that like button. That really does help me out. I know you've heard me say that before, but the way it helps me out is it helps me to keep publishing and making, creating these videos. 
um, through the monetization because YouTube, if they know you like it, they'll they'll like it and they'll push my videos out and you know it helps me out that way. Okay, very pretty earrings, very delicate. Both of them obviously are pearls. These little drops are shorter and they have gold tone metal. And here we have silver tone metal. This I'm noticing has only one earring back on it. So why don't we just take a closer look. Let's look at these first. These are beautiful. They're very simple, very elegant. And there is not a thing wrong with them. I want to take a look because I saw some marks on both uh, earrings and it's really tiny. Very nice. These are 14 karat and there's a mark just to the left of that. I cannot make it out. I'm hoping you guys can help me out with that. If I can stay still enough. Do you recognize that mark? If you do, would you let me know in the comment section just below the video? They are so pretty and I'm noticing that the earring back is also stamped. There it is. It's also stamped with 14 karat and then that same jewelry, jewelry, jewel, jewelry mark. We have got ourselves a pair of white gold pearl drop earrings. Yep, it looks like there's gold in them hills of jewelry. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I'm getting punchy. <laughs> Here is the ECU of these gold and pearl earrings. ECU stands for extreme close up. Did you know that? <laughs> As I pointed out, I don't think this earring back belongs to these earrings. I'm going to take that off and I'm looking to see if I can find any sort of stamp like 14 karat and right now I'm not seeing it. I'll look closer in a second. But these look like very well made earrings and I would not be surprised to learn that they're gold as well. Let's try the magnet first. No, there does not seem to be a magnetic pull. That's a good sign. I have looked very closely at these earrings and I do not see a jewelry mark. So I will perform a test after the video and here are the results of that test. This next piece is a very nice looking bracelet. It's got these silver ball beads and you can see that there is a cross pendant there with what looks like a turquoise inlay. Here is that cross charm that dangles off of this toggle closure. Isn't that pretty? Look at the side of it. And let me turn it over. There's the back. So pretty. And then that 925 3S and then another mark. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. Read your screen right here. I'm going to do the test after the video. This is adorable. I love the simple design and that little charm hanging off is so pretty. I'm loving every pair of earrings here that you see. <laughs> okay, this pair right here, I just listed the necklace version. So these are Lucky Brand and I have a Lucky Brand pendant necklace that matches these earrings exactly. Same same thing. I believe these are also Lucky Brand and these got have those little silver and gold tone cube beads strung around that teardrop hoop. These I don't recognize as a brand but I just thought they were so pretty. These are like, let me get closer on those. There we go. You can see that they are heart dangles and these little tiny discs hang off the heart. I thought they were boho and romantic. I just, I don't know. I just like them. And look how cute these blue dangles are. These are blue Swarovski crystals, AB crystals, all packed into that little round setting. They're silver tone. And when we turn them over, you can see that it's marked KC, which is Kenneth Cole. Here are a few more pair of earrings. All of these are unbranded. Well, except for these. They're on a card that says Coronet. But in any case, we have three pair of red earrings. And then these teardrop earrings with these dark blue and lighter blue crystals on them. And I will show you a necklace that matches these. 
And there is the necklace. This is a matching set. It's actually pretty classic. They're pretty, they're black and white, little rings, silver tone metal. And when I took a look at these as I was taking them out, on the back, let me get that focused in, it says, uh, not intended, for, well, not intended for children. Uh, the important thing is that it says, sell with necklace. The price of earrings is included in the necklace set price. So not sure what coronet is, but um, this is a brand new set, so not a bad looking set. This next piece is a fun necklace. Now we have like bronze tone chain and some bronze tone picked up in these little pendants here, a heart and then a tree of life. But I really like the fun colors. There's a yellow ring where all these other pendants are hanging off. We have some cloisonne beads here, a round one with a butterfly, and then another teardrop shaped with flowers. There's a better look at the pendants as they dangle off that yellow ring. This is just fun. I like this one. I feel so lucky with this box. This is another pretty piece. First of all, we have a very beautiful finish on the gold. No wear on it whatsoever, a very brilliant yellow gold. This pendant is faceted and of course there is a gold textured gold frame. I'll go up closer in a minute. And it has a, a, like a brownish, uh, light brown kind of color to it. When you turn it over, look at that. There is more of a smooth stone. This is a green stone, maybe green agate of some sort. Here is a better look at the stone on this side. And then there's that textured hammered kind of frame. And then again, there is that brownish, uh, golden brown, I guess, darker um, faceted stone on that. And here is a better look at that bale itself. You can get a better look at the chain here. And also there is a hook on it so that you can adjust the length. Now this fits right over the head. You can wear it uh, at the length that, that it is, or you can shorten it. And I'm hoping that you can see that this is stamped Stella and Dot. I am thrilled with this necklace. It looks like it has never been worn. Here is a stretch bracelet. It's natural stone. I believe these are jaspers. Correct me if I'm wrong. Has a tree of life charm hanging from it. It doesn't look like it's sterling silver. It's just not made that way. But very cute and the stretch feels good on it. Here is another elastic bracelet, stretchy. This is made with, I think, green adventuring, although I'm not quite sure what these lighter colors are or these pinkish colors. So let me know if you know what these stones are for sure. And these are interesting beads as well. These are, are those in Nobium? If I'm, if I'm remembering that right, um, there's a closer look at the, those. This is a little hanging pendant or a little hanging charm there. And then a glass bead with more of those metal beads. Next is another stretchy, another stretchy bracelet. This has amber beads strung on it. Chip style beads, but they're bigger than chips. And I'm pretty sure, now I'm not 100% sure that they're amber. Let me get a very good close up of this for you. They all look very different, so they don't look mass produced. And it looks like they have some, mm, I don't know if I'd call them inclusions, but there's some marks like bubbles on the inside. So let me know what you think. If you think this is a genuine amber, I think it is. Here are three unbranded pieces that are very nice. Starting with this top piece, this is a bracelet that's layered with chain and crystals. There is the biggest flat curb chain in the middle, and this is in gold tone. Very pretty, I think. It looks like it's in really great shape. It twists around and closes like so. Isn't that pretty? This next piece is also a bracelet. You can see that there are these little mesh loops all intertwined. And this has a toggle clasp. This one also looks brand new. It's hard to believe this doesn't have a brand associated with it, but it doesn't. Isn't that a great looking bracelet? And I thought these hoop earrings were very pretty, very unique. You can see that they are gold tone with clear hoops and they have a wave design on them. 
I'm turning them just to double check that all of the crystals are there. And it looks like they are. I think these are very pretty. Here's a stretchy bracelet. These are all glass beads in purples and blacks and clears. I like the combination. It looks like some art beads in here, like this one in black and white with purple inside. There are three of those beads on this bracelet. There were a few silver toned spacers as well. And this little heart pendant is, I mean, not pendant, but charm, is really cute. Can you see where there's a man and a woman etched on there? How sweet is that? These components are not sterling silver. They, they are magnetic, you can see right there. This is another stretch bracelet, also glass beads in purple. The glass beads on this are unique. Can you see where there are little black dots in them? I like them. I like the color purple. And there's a very pretty bead in a purple and clear crystal, sort of like a little disco ball. And there is a little gold tag on here. Now you can read this one of two ways. P-W-U. Or if you turn it upside down or right side up, whichever is the case, um, it says NMD. So I'm not sure what that is. It just may be uh, the artist who made this has little tags made up in his or her initials. But in any case, I just thought this was cute. Here's another very pretty bracelet. This is leather. It's pebbled leather in a dark gray, and it has these slider beads in gold tone, and they're pyramid shaped, the center bead being filled with crystals, clear crystals. The closure on this one is snap closure, which makes it adjustable with the two snaps on there. So yeah, I think this was pretty cute. No name associated with it though, no marks on this one. This necklace is very sweet. It's so delicate. It's got a silver tone chain. This reads Mrs. MRS. I'll take you closer in just a minute. But I, I even love this extender with this little ball charm on it. And we see that there is a mark right there. There is the pendant more up close and you can see how delicate the chain is as well. And taking you up the necklace, at the end, you see a lobster clasp right there and the extender with that little ball charm. And how great is that? We're learning here that this is a Kate Spade necklace. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I did. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I thank you for spending time with me today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.